Well, it sure feels like fall out there today with temperatures just hanging around the 60s and 70s. KDKA meteorologist Kristen Emery is here with a look at your full forecast, including if a warm up is on the way. Kristen and we have a little bit of something for almost everyone. Erica, we have some sunshine and 80 toward the end of the week and right now some comfortably cool weather and even a couple of rain showers here and there this week to help keep the uh, lawns and gardens watered right now. Lots of folks across the river at PNC Park getting ready to welcome Metallica and it looks like the rain should stay away. Chance of a couple of sprinkles in spots the rest of the evening, but the majority of these have stayed well to the south. So 69 degrees currently in Pittsburgh, mostly cloudy skies. Dew points are comfortable. Just a nice light breeze out there. Some areas didn't even break the 70 degree mark today. We're looking at Cranberry, Pittsburgh, Washington, Waynesburg, all in the upper 60s now. Connellsville is still at 65. Look at Somerset, overcast and 59 degrees, 70 in Newcastle and Beaver Falls, 71. Two of the warmer spots we've seen. Not a lot of sunshine, but comfortable, comfortable temperatures. And hour by hour, we stay overcast tonight. The temperatures will slowly slide down there into those mid to lower 60s and really bottoming out right there around 60 for most folks by tomorrow morning. So very seasonable temperatures. Temperatures. Normal lows are in the lower 60s. Normal highs this week are in the lower 80s. We won't get back there until likely Thursday or Friday. High temperatures the next few days feeling very September like in the mid to upper 70s. And then we slowly climb back up to those lower 80s. Very comfortable range and the humidity levels stay nice and tolerable all week. Here's a radar. A couple of those scattered showers I was mentioning mainly up to the north along I 80. They're very sporadic. And then down to the south, that one area of heavier rain pushed by the western portion of Washington and Greene counties the uh, last couple of hours. It's moving out to the southeast now, and we'll start to see some drier weather tonight. Not clearing skies, but drier weather. All due to this low pressure center that's out over western portions of Indiana. It's going to migrate a little bit farther to the east and then sort of stick there and become closed off, and that will swirl up a chance of a scattered shower or thunder storm each of the next couple of afternoons and keep us in this kind of cloudy and cool pattern. Very September like weather. Here's future cast through the rest of the evening. We have a couple of scattered showers possible, mainly uh, off to the south and east, but most of us really won't see much of any rain chance at all until maybe tomorrow afternoon. Here's tomorrow afternoon about six o'clock. You see a chance for a spotty shower or storm popping up uh, mainly around dinner time, but it's going to be few and far between. We'll keep that chance in here. We'll mention it and then as we head toward Tuesday afternoon, an isolated shower or storm popping up in spots, but again, not a whole lot of big rain totals this week, just cloudy and comfortably cool 60 tonight under cloudy skies. Showers diminish tomorrow 75, mostly cloudy S chance of a scattered shower or a pop up thunder shower in spots tomorrow afternoon. They'll be widely separated and then more of the same on Tuesday. Couple of scattered showers and a storm Wednesday. We're back to mostly sunny skies 79. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're finally over that 80 degree mark and some nice sunshine to end the week.